First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 25, verses 13 to 21. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 21, verse 15 to 19. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, Son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord My dear friends, today we shall reflect on a complete dialogue between Jesus Christ and Saint Peter. The questions posed by Jesus to Saint Peter were answered by Saint Peter three times. The questions Jesus answered, Peter, do you love me? My dear friends, that same question was asked again. Do you love me more than these? And then it was repeated by Jesus again and asked, Peter, do you love me? And St. Peter's answers, my dear friends, Yes, Lord, you know, Lord. And the third time when Peter answered Jesus' question, there was a little bit of raising of voice as we see in the lines of the scriptures. But my dear friends, repeating three times the same thing as an answer 
is a complete answer for the question posed. Therefore, my dear friends, St. Peter fully answers the question. It is like when we are answering a question paper, examination paper, we answer it and we get 100 marks, that means full marks. But here it is, my dear friends, a full commitment of love towards Jesus. And this commitment was background by a sense of sacrifice because tending the sheep, looking after the, after the sheep and giving up of life for the sheep, my dear friends, was envisaged in those questions and the answers. Both the examiner and the respondent have given life example of these questions and answers. My dear friends, the questions are posed to us now. Jesus asking the questions from us, do you love me? And what is my response in the deep within my heart? Yes, Lord, I love you. Love is not just a word. It is not just a text message. It is a whole system of life. Therefore, my dear friends, as Jesus loved and loved to the end and sacrificed his life for the sake of the people, as St. Peter responded, loved Jesus Christ and gave up his life for the sake of Christ, we are also called to complete that answer by our way of life, my dear friends, by loving to the, till the end, loving Jesus Christ and giving up of our life for the sake of Jesus Christ.